The issue of majority share in BTC was the subject of talks between Prime Minister Perry Christie and cable and wireless officials yesterday. Amidst a government investigation into the unprecedented nationwide telephone shutdown yesterday, Clint Watson tells us what came out of the meetings over the divisive issue centered around the most profitable state-run company. The government is very clear on its position regarding the sale of BTC, and Prime Minister Perry Christie conveyed that decision to the CEO of Cable and Wireless, the parent company of Lime, who has 51% ownership in BTC, during a private meeting at his office on Monday. I have indicated that my government remains faithful to our commitment to explore all lawful means to acquire the majority interest um, in the company. The Prime Minister has requested a report which will give the Cabinet a greater understanding of what took place during the sale. ZNS News asked Mr. Christie about the tone of the meeting. When you're speaking at the level of the chief and then the chief of the company um, and you're speaking at the level of the chief of the country, um, you would expect to be very civil, very cordial. And um, in fact, it was, you know, um, it is what it is. Uh, th they have their position, I have my position. Um, I've just won the general elections, one of the principal approaches we took during the general elections um, was that we would move to do what we said we would do and I'm now in the process of doing that and um, the country could readily expect at some stage in the future to have a report and an accounting from me with respect to that issue. It has been speculated that should the government proceed to reverse the BTC majority sale, it could cost the public purse a pretty penny. And given the country's present financial position, just how feasible is this? I'm not speaking to timing in this issue. Um, I'm speaking to the principal uh, position that we have taken on behalf of the people of our country. And so I'm not um, concerned um, really about the um, state of finances and its relationship to the decision we have made and to the process that now ensues in my discussing it. As to those of you who have been waiting to become shareholders in the company following the announcement by the previous administration that a public offering could come this year, the Prime Minister says decisions will have to be made but nothing is being ruled out. The former government had made a decision to liquidate some of its 49 percent <clears throat> and um, we stayed that decision um, until such time as we could have a, an approach to um, the major shareholder based on our electoral commitment. And while all talks are now in the infancy stage, Prime Minister Christie says whatever decision will be made will be made in the best interest of the Bahamian people. Clint Watson, ZNS News.